The world around us is changing rapidly, and the change is driven by technology. Clients have an increasing number of options in contacting those they do business with. Businesses that must be available 24-7 and provide relevant, top-notch, personal service. That applies to all commercial enterprises, including banks. Digital innovators such as Spotify and Netflix are at the forefront of such developments when it comes to tailoring their service to client needs. They have a clear concept of corporate culture and a defined approach to collaboration processes. They believe firmly in the methodology called Agile. For ING, they are important sources of inspiration in establishing a new way of working together, a new level of servicing clients. The new way of working calls for quicker reactions to changing client needs, less interdepartmental passing of the baton, fewer coordination meetings, more room for initiative, and higher levels of responsibilities for teams and individuals. So, how does it work? The fundamental unit in our future head office organization is the squad. Squads are self-steering, autonomous teams of up to nine people, responsible end-to-end -end for their own specific customer-related mission. Squads are built around different disciplines, different areas of expertise, and different backgrounds. For example, the Squad Mortgage application concerns itself with developing and implementing the most customer-friendly and most efficient way of moving from first mortgage submission to final approval. And the Squad search engine is dedicated to developing the most customer-friendly and effective search engine for our various digital channels. In Squads, you can expect to find colleagues from marketing, product management, formula management, data analysis, user experience and IT. Sometimes more of the one or more of the other, depending on the nature of the squad's mission. Within each squad, product ownership is assigned to one squad member. This product owner is responsible for what a squad does, is in charge of the backlog and to-do list and determines priorities. This does not mean the product owner is the boss. Coordination between members of the same discipline takes place inside chapters. There is, for example, a chapter Data Analytics, a chapter Customer Journey Mortgages, a chapter Product Management Processes. Chapters determine how jobs should be tackled. The chapter lead is ultimately responsible for this and also represents the hierarchy for squad members taking responsibility for personal development, coaching, and the performance management cycle of individual squad members. The chapter lead will perform these duties in addition to their regular day-to-day -day job in their own squad. But if squads are self-steering and autonomous, how can we ensure coordination between squads? That is where tribes come in. A tribe is a collection of squads with interconnected missions. There is a tribe securities and private banking, a tribe mortgage services, etc. As a rule, a tribe contains fewer than 150 people, coordinated by the tribe lead, who, although not the traditional boss of all tribe members, ensures that knowledge and insights are shared, establishes priorities, and allocates available budgets. The tribe lead also forms the interface with other tribes. And that's it. Well, almost. There is one more vital role, that of Agile Coach. The person who coaches individuals and squads and who helps them to grow and prosper. That, in a nutshell, is how most of ING Head Office will function in the future. Most, but not all. The Agile approach involves flexibility in adapting to the needs of the moment. The forming of tribes is very much a tailor-made thing, dependent on specific goals and circumstances. And that is an approach that may not suit all business functions, and so a degree of trial and error will help us establish what does and does not work in practice. The Agile approach is in itself agile and not cast in iron. That is what makes it such a valuable tool in achieving our goals.